Jason was keeping us from doing what we really wanted to do. That's when I found Flosilex. Flosilex is non-prescription and eases constipation gently, so I can get back to what I really love. <laughs> like my wife. <laughs> How's the love life? I cried in the car to a laxative commercial. God, is it the one where he kisses his wife? I can't. It wrecks me every time. Mm. What about you? You dating again? Well, after the Elliot fiasco, I'm strictly in a, let's call it hookup mode. Tinder. Tinder's basic. That's how I meet dudes. Is that you? Of course not. I just photoshopped my head onto that woman's body. That's lying. <laughs> not if you turn the lights off. Why is your username Milfgar? Milfgur. Milfgar. Milfgur. Milfgur. Milfgur? It's like a milf and a cougar. No. All the other screen names were taken. Mm -hmm. Girl, I am crushing the D, okay? Well, I recently reconnected with somebody. Oh. Um, Gen X guy. Ow. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. What? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Ow! What, 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 what? This is like the second can. Oh, is that the guy with the goatee that does swing dance? Yep. Was he even good at sex? Yes. Except for the yeast infection. Wait, wait. You're going out with a guy, again, with a goatee that gave you a yeast infection? Okay, no, it is not his fault. My car is filthy. Oh, God. I wanna, like, really connect with somebody. Maybe not with someone you fucked in the back of your Corolla. It's a Honda Civic. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. He's nice. I just, I don't know if I'm wasting my time. Why don't you bring him out on a, on a no-sex date? Take him to, I don't know, the museum or a zoo or something. Ooh! I have the perfect date. Hey! Hey! Uh, thanks for picking me up. You're welcome. I see the uh, car is still spotless. I see you still don't have a car. Well, I like being among the people. So what, you take the bus? God, no. I Uber. You sound like a real people person. <laughs> you uh, just come from church? No, but I got dressy. I'm kidding, okay? You, you look great. Uh-huh. Thanks. I only kid the people I like. Oh, you like me? You haven't seen me in like four months. So, uh, where are we going? This is your idea of a second date. It's nice. And we'll get a chance to know each other a little better. Between prayers? Okay, please, just not now. Please do one more. Okay, so let's everyone imagine himself. Or herself, Ben. Right, sorry. Let's all imagine we're Israelite slaves escaping Egypt after persecution. Now, visualize God sending the 10 plagues to punish Pharaoh and his nation. Water to blood, lice, wild beasts, death of the firstborn. Hold on. God just kills their firstborn. Uh, yes, Dave. How does he discriminate between which babies to kill and which ones to spare? Maybe just ask that later. No, it's okay. It's a good question. Dave, God instructed Moses to tell the Israelites to put lamb's blood over certain doors, which the Lord passed over and spared their firstborn. So what you're telling me is uh, a fictional omniscient being needed an arbitrary sign from a human to decide which babies should be murdered. Does anybody want any pickles? Uh, hold on. What about the Holy Spirit? Couldn't he just ID who's who? He really needed color coding? <laughs> also, God just wax innocent babies? Well, uh, they weren't innocent. Uh, I mean, their parents had a... So if we murder a fetus, that's not okay. But if God wants to kill a bunch of cute little Egyptian babies, why, that's just fine. Um, yeah. Pretty weak sauce, Ben. Where did you find this guy, Bumble? You know what, Dave? You, you seem a little out of sorts. Would you, would you like some matzah? I'm gluten-free, but please, continue. They are very good friends of mine. So, uh, God then parted the waters so that the Israelites could okay, pass. Okay, oh, wow. There is no historical proof that that ever happened. Dave, please. Yes, there is. It's in the Torah. Oh, the Torah, the good old Torah. The book written by a bunch of crazy dudes with beards in a cave who passed down the story of God. Not to be rude, but can you shut him the fuck up? Language. Uh, Dave, this is, um, this is just a nice dinner. Uh, hold on, baby. 
there is overwhelming evidence beyond a shadow of a doubt that this story never even happened. Oh, really? Where's the evidence? Uh, honey? I wouldn't want to overwhelm you with logic. I went to a women's yeshiva, Dave, so come at me, bruh. How about we all have a little Manischewitz? Okay, you know what? I'll go on to the atheism subreddit and we'll just... Wow, the data coverage here is... Oh, uh... yeah, it's the valley, so... Okay, well, you know what? You're just gonna have to take my word for it. The truth is out there, but the establishment's trying to keep it hush-hush. What establishment, Dave? What establishment? How about some macaroons? It's, it's not dessert time. Sorry. Can I just say you're the rudest guy Lindsay's ever dated? You say rude, I say honest, okay? I'm like a diamond bullet to the head, shattering the lie. Just another in the line of duds. Hey! Remember the uh, stunt motorcyclist? <sighs> or the one who worked for Herbalife? The one who tried to get you to join his Ponzi scheme? You do not have to remind me. Dave, are you even Jewish? No. I got off the Jew train. Do you even know the association between trains and Jews, Dave? I don't take the train. I Uber. Oh my god, you're a fucking Satan! Language. It's not my fault I got shanghaied into this. I mean, a Seder date, really? Yeah, maybe you should opt for drinks, Lent. How was I supposed to know he was an atheist? You could've asked. Go oh, I'm sorry, I was too busy sucking your dick in the car! Yeah. How was that? <laughs> I get it. This date, you were boyfriend testing me. Yeah, you failed. Guess what, his profile says that he's 38 years old. 47. Liar! It's LA! We all lie! It's a city built on lies! I just wanted to meet a nice guy and have kids. Kids? I thought you were progressive. You know, she has a Fugazi tattoo. Oh, Linz, you can't get buried in a cemetery. It's against Jewish law. How did you know about my tattoo? I saw it when we fucked. Oh, you fucked that guy? <laughs> yeah, in her Corolla. It is a goddamn Honda Civic! And I was 25 when I got the tattoo. And I was drunk. Fugazi are straight edge. Why would you get drunk to get a straight edge tattoo? Okay, everybody out. You know what? Maybe you'd like to take some food home. No one gets any food. Uh, hey. <laughs> Can I get a ride back? <sighs> Surge pricing? Fuck. I mean, honestly, maybe I'm not even ready for kids because if I can't keep a clean car, I can't keep a clean kid. I'd probably even lose my kid in the car. The other day, I found something under the seat that I thought was a rock. It was a banana. I only discovered that after like really breaking it apart like it was freaking science. Oh, look at this guy. He's cute. Ooh. And he's funny. Listen to this, okay? Passover. Meh. Getting off the Jew train. 